Howdy, folks. Welcome to the Rocket Jockey. I'm your host, Rocket Jockey McGee. We're going to be rocket jockeying those cows fried space. Now, nobody knows that on planet Earth, there's been rocket jockeying for 500 years. The first space rocket was invented by Julius Caesar, using just a bit of sticky tape, Roman souls, and the entire population of Macedonia. This rocket was powered by the human spirit and a combined elixir made of souls, diamonds, and uh, quantum uranium. Now, this is powered through a hadronic collider reaction that simulated with a U-bended tube made of lead, some water, and souls. Now, these souls have to be specifically prodded with feathers for a little while, and uh, that creates the specific reaction required to use the, uh, the Julius Caesarian rocket ship. Of course, this rocket ship doesn't have air, and for that, you have to... It would seem that this game is looping, because it's so darn short, we completed it. So, um, I guess I could die, but I've not yet told you about the rocket ship. Now, the air is used from a manufactured plant called Xylonian, which is an ancient Byzantine thing taken back from the past using Emperor Augustus' time machine, which he made using 15 pieces of wood, one shiny metal doorknob, and uh, souls. Now, this time machine can be used to go to the future and steal a rocket. Now, that, that's basically what they did. They just went to the future and took a rocket. But they made this little blueprint thing, so it looked like that the Romans invented a rocket. Now, no people in the future have managed to get it working, except for Mad Cletus. But then again, he was mad. He, he... We never did see him again, though, when he shot up into the sky. I, I do hope he's all right. I think he said something like, I'm returning to the mothership. Very odd. I think it's this guy called Kiko here. I think he actually wants to to, to take his video back. So uh, get, get out of here! Oh well, I just get out of here. But fine, just go. Should I go back into my corner? No, you gotta leave my house. But but where will I go? Go to your Byzantinian rocket ship. You... <sighs> Sorry about that. I've no idea how that guy managed to get a hold of my uh... <sighs> my headset. Non-human. That's what that guy w Okay, I'm Albert Einstein, made a triangle, wearing a triangular cape, and there's some freaky guy in the bottom. And I just shot something, and I'm moonwalking! Oh my god! Oh, it uses the same wonderful jumping mechanics that uh, our good old friend. Uh, Everything uses. Now, something you need to know about this game. Don't get hit. Don't fall into the Elvises. The second thing you need to know is... Um, go up that ramp. If you don't go up that ramp, you will die. Because you can't scroll back in this game. And the ramp disappears. So you got to jump up this. And make sure you don't fall. As you can see... You you die when you touch something. Oh, we're going to play this game again. Yes, I know it's arbitrary which game I decide to play again, but I'm sorry, this game's just a little too weird for me not to play it again. Oh, this is how I came up with E equals MC squared. I played non-human on the Action 52s. And I got killed by a potato with arms. Really, how did they come up with the idea for this game? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. We'll just have like a uh, Albert Einstein and uh, Elton John, and and we'll put him in a in a weird world where he gets attacked by potatoes. And there'll be like three levels. Could we release this as a separate game? I don't think there's much of a uh, plot for this. Well, we could put it in the Action 52 compilation. How about that? How about the fact that Albert Einstein cut duck? And so he can't jump to hit that guy, so he's just basically boned. Ah, uh, dead again. Uh, one more, I think. One more life. Then we'll try something different. Uh, that's it. Alright. One moment, folks. I'll be right back.
We were playing non-human. Let's play Crybaby! And let's get rid of that window. Let's go! I'm a baby! I kill people with my water. Um, I'm scared now. I'm a killer baby! Kill a baby, he kills people with his drink! Kill a baby, he doesn't know what to think! He's a killer baby! And he kills people in his house! Cause he's a baby and he kills people! He eats the souls and drinks their blood! Like what's a weird sort of version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star that's playing in the back. Well, hello there, sir! You appear to be caught in a glitch! Let me help you! Th well, hello, sir! You appear to be caught in a glitch! Let me help you! <laughs> Let's get rid of that fire! Ah, this game looks more to my liking! Brutally murdering people as a baby! Nobody suspects the baby. Nobody. I'm not even going to think about walking on that oven. It's probably bad news. Die. The baby come. Oh, sorry. Something I must do. Well, hello, sir. You appear to be caught in a glitch. Let me help you. Just going to destroy these fires. But what kind of house does this baby live in? Yes, there's just fire everywhere and random people walking around. The baby murders. No bed. No stairs either. I think we're up to the end of a level. Ah, level three! Whoa. Kill me! Sorry, there is something I must do. Why, hello, sir! You appear to be stuck in a glitch! Let me help you! <sighs> How satisfying that is. Yep, that's dead. I'm quite good at this one! Oh, somebody's playing around a outside. Can't play outside, it's forbidden! What are these people, like, sidewalking for anyway? Where are all these fires coming from? I could not even begin to explain where these fires... Why does this game give you multiple hits? Level 4! I got hit right... baby cries when he dies. Let's just go up this oven. Can we climb up the oven? No, it would seem not. Can we climb down an oven is probably the question. Let's see. Yes, it kills the baby instantly. Probably because it's cooked. Nah, I killed you with my water. I'm actually quite enjoying this one. What are these? We can't climb them. They're like giant weird... Oh goody. Yet, you die by doing that. By walking off a, off a chair. Not at all surprising. So, we are currently on... Game 29, Slashers. That sounds very bad. None of these games really sound rage. Especially lollipops. A bit worried about lollipops, and I think I saw a game called Manchester here. Do the designers of this game know what Manchester is? When we come back, folks, more Action 52. Uh, you don't want there to be more Action 52, but there's more Action 52 anyway. Until then, until then.